Hey, Simone and Jordan, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Hey, yeah. hey come on. Under <laughs> dance. Oh my God. I am so ex first of all, let me say congratulations for season two. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm waiting for season three, but we'll get there when we get there. And mm -hmm. um that part. And um, I am so excited for what the creators are doing with, with Jazz and Lisa this season. I'm so excited. But not to give any, I'm in for all of it. I'm in for all the love, the Jazz and, and Lisa are getting in for all of it. But a lot of this season deals with, you know, rebuilding trust and specifically rebuilding trust with family, whether they're chosen or not. And I just want to know how y'all feel about that when you're in a situation where you have to balance that position of trusting someone that is chosen family or trusting someone that is your family family. And if my chosen family obviously is Will or, you know, my relationship, uh, you know. Um, and I think but for my character, it's not so much about, you know, I don't think it's more about trusting. I feel like more for me, it's about them trusting me in a way. Mm -hmm. I haven't uh, had a situation where I was told or advised to do something specifically and to trust them, but I try to give, you know, uh, little Easter eggs or whatever the case may be to help out my friends or my girl or, you know, any, you know, things like that. So, mm -hmm. um, yeah. I okay. think for Lisa <laughs> with Chosen Family, like her family is literally broken in, in different ways. Her mom has passed. Her dad has a different agendas in different ways. And so really the banks being a chosen family is a really big deal for her because they've been there for her. Absolutely. And that's what I was getting to because the banks is a chosen family for Lisa. Yeah. You know, Lisa's mother has passed on her father's being real special and acting out in all kinds of different ways. And Lisa's having a hard time grasping with that and understanding that but loving her father all at the same time. So when Vivian kind of goes like this to you, it's a big deal. Yes. And that's chosen family is important. And for Jazz too, it's a big deal that Will is this chosen family for you no. because he has opened up your world in ways that you probably didn't even see coming, right? Yeah, absolutely. You, you better say something. <laughs> Listen, I'm a fan. I watch the show. I'm not just somebody <laughs> talking to y'all that ain't seen <laughs> an abbreviated watch of the show of the season. I watched the daggum show. <laughs> okay. But having said that, speaking about your relationships outside of the chosen family, I know we can't say too much about that because mm -hmm. I don't want to spoil it for anybody. But if you had to like, if you had to choose someone that you would end up with, would it be the, and we're not going to say who you end up with. Oh, I was like, <laughs> no, 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 no. But if we had to choose who you were going to be end up, would it be the people that you kind of sort of end up with? Or would your choice be somebody completely different and try to answer that without answering it? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I think, I think that who I would want to end up with <laughs> is someone that I may end up with on the show, but you don't know that because you don't know the ending. <laughs> that's answering without answering <laughs> that's I true would say, i would say for the love really does speak for itself i think the situations make things a little bit muddy and you got to figure out what you're going to deal with what you can handle but i think the love really does speak for itself i think that's a beautiful way to look at it look at you simone getting all yeah, deep yeah, on the come on now <laughs> <laughs> All right. So having said that, last but not least, just to lighten it up a little bit as if it hadn't been light all along, but to mm -hmm. lighten it up a little bit, what had, 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 did, were you guys fans of the Fresh Prince, the sitcom when it was on the air? Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. What's your favorite episode? The one that's coming to mind that makes me laugh is when Ashley gets a job. Oh, yeah. And she's a hot stick. dog. And yeah. What's it called? The hot dog and a stick. Yeah. No, it's a different, uh, it's a different. I think that's what it's called. Okay, I think exactly. the dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just so yeah. Funny. Um, I have so many favorites. Obviously, the famous Will Dad scene. Yeah, all that. But I think actually one of my favorites is um, there's an episode where basically Will and Carlton are trying to join a fraternity, and they have to do all the dirty work. But they, no matter how much hard work they do, 
the head guy will not let Carlton in because he's too white. You know what I'm saying? He's not black, and Carlton has to tell him at the end, like, I'm fighting the same race that, you know, it was it was just very moving because it's funny the whole time. Mm -hmm. But then at the end, just like Fresh Prince always does, there's always a message. And uh, that was a, a, a really good episode. That's a great one. Those were some good episodes. Y'all pick some good ones. I'll give you that. You pick some yeah. good ones. Well, that is my time, y'all. But I enjoyed this little time we had together, like Carol Burnett. Thank you. And um, I really enjoy your characters on the show. You're doing great jobs. And I love watching both of you also very much. And I'm looking forward to seeing what the creatives have in mind for your characters moving forward. Absolutely. Thank, Thank you. you so much. You're Thank welcome. You. Bye now.